Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the complex logic circuit design with the CMOS implementation. So in the previous video I have explained the complex logic circuit design with the NMOS realization. The same example we will consider here. Consider the boolean expression. Consider the boolean expression as z is equal to a plus uh, a into d plus e plus bc whole power a into d plus e plus bc whole power okay uh, any type of uh, any type of free input realization may be considered as a complex logic circuit design complex logic circuit design which consists of parallel set series set and everything together to provide a boolean expression okay uh, for example a few other may be also for example uh, z is equal to a into b plus c whole bar this may be a complex logic circuit and or <coughs> z is equal to a b plus c whole bar <coughs> it may be a complex logic circuit likewise we can have a different uh, realizations with more than Two inputs may be considered as a complex logic circuit design. <coughs> now, in this design, whatever the example we have considered in this design, we have there are five inputs. There are five inputs. Okay, so five inputs A, B, C, D, E. Now, how many transistors we need? Total transistors. Total transistors is equal to <coughs> two times the number of inputs. See in CMOS realization, remember very very important in CMOS realization, the number of transistors is equal to two times the number of inputs. Two times the number of inputs. So as we have five inputs, there will be 10 number of transistors <coughs> okay but what about the previous nmos realization in the nmos realization there will be how many suppose if there are five inputs if there are five inputs six number of transistors will be there so if there are n number of inputs there will be n plus one number of transistors there will be n plus one number of transistors okay but whereas in the CMOS logic circuit design, there will be 2n number of inputs, 2n number of uh, transistors, 2n number of transistors. That is the difference between CMOS and NMOS realization. That means in the pull-up network completely, we have only one transistor. But whereas in the CMOS logic circuit design, we have PMOS realization in the pull-up design. <coughs> we have PMOS design in the pull-up network. Okay. So, we need we need 5 PMOS transistors 5 PMOS transistors and 5 NMOS transistors 5 PMOS transistors and 5 NMOS transistors so 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 that is equal to the total number of inputs into 2 times now how to connect them we know very well so how to connect them uh, parallel for product if product combination is there pmos transistors should be parallel for plus pmos should be series opposite case with the nmos for product okay i will write here nmos it is series and here nmos this is parallel hope you understand so for product realization for product realization pmos transistors should be in parallel and mos transistors should be in series for plus realization pmos transistors should be in parallel pmos transistors should be in series and nmos transistors should be in parallel okay now with these four points we are going to design the given that is equal to uh, a into d plus e plus bc whole bar 
as bar is there we don't need to worry about the inverter at the output bar itself gives you uh, the circuit realization itself gives you the complemented form so we don't need to worry about that so a into b plus c a into so a, as it is a product combination a and this d plus c set these two must be in parallel okay before that a and d plus e as d and e are in plus combination so these two transistors must be in series p mos bubble is there e it is a now these two are connected once check this is between vdd <coughs> So A is here with a parallel combination of series combination of D and E. So D, E are in series. So it is D plus E. <coughs> it is D plus E in parallel with A means product A into D plus E. This is completed. Now this BC again B and C transistors are in parallel and this parallel set must be in series with this total set. So that's why here it is D it is c b it is c now this is between z is equal to a into d plus e plus b c whole bar so the the set whatever we have taken now it is completely of pmos design consisting of five five transistors which is uh, connected between vdd and output now in the bottom part in the bottom part same opposite case b and c are in sorry here i think b c must be in parallel sorry wait one minute hmm. now coming to this b c B and C are in product, so they should be in parallel. They should be in parallel. This parallel combination is series with the A into D plus C. So this is D, this is C. Now it is the output. Z is equal to A into D plus E plus bc whole bar okay now here we have b c in series b c now this series combination is in parallel with another set where a is in series with a is in series with a parallel combination of d and e See, see in the, uh, if you are a beginner, definitely you will be having confusion. But if you practice number of realizations, definitely it will be very, very easy. Okay, by remembering those four points, what I have mentioned in the previous slide uh, for product realization, PMOS transistor should be in parallel. See, let us check whether I have applied the same or not. A into D plus E, this is a product combination. So, A into this one, these two are in parallel. B, C, these two are in parallel. So, whatever we have applied on the PMOS logic, the same we need to apply in the opposite case for the NMOS logic. If you consider B, C as parallel in the PMOS, they should be in series in the NMOS. See here, in this NMOS realization, NMOS realization means that should be connected between output and ground. So, B and C are in series, and this series combination should be in parallel with the other combination a into d plus c so a into d plus c but whereas here we have in series okay so a into d plus c again in the within a into d plus e a into it's a dot product so in the uh, p mos realization they should be in parallel but here in the n mos realization they should be in series and once that is done the d in 
plus E. D plus E is again two transistors which are connected in series in the PMOS realization. But whereas here in the NMOS realization, they should be in parallel. That is in series with A. Now this set and this DC set, these two are in again parallel because this is a series combination. But whereas in the NMOS, and whereas in the uh, PMOS realization, they should be in series. Okay. So I, if you want, you can check this whether it is working or not. You can uh, take the truth table and design that also. Now let us consider the Euler path also. Euler's path. Euler's path is very very helpful when you are designing a layout circuit, a layout design in the VLSI circuits. Okay. So Euler's path is nothing but it gives you uh, what is the flow between VDD and output, and as well as between uh, output and ground okay so this is a we have a transistor here and in series d and e this is d transistor this is e transistor okay euler path is very very important when you are designing layout remember for layouts and after this we have bc bc which are in parallel again so this is B and this is C, B transistor, C transistor. Now this is PMOS network graph, PMOS graph. And coming to the NMOS graph, NMOS is nothing but which is connected between output and ground. NMOS network graph, so how they are connected, here we have A. Again, we have D E in series, D E in parallel, and with that, B here and C here. Okay, this is Euler's path. Euler's path is considered whenever we go for the layouts. Okay, thank you.